When someone has an addiction, what's going on is the release of the neurotransmitter dopamine. When dopamine is released from the brain, it gives you a euphoric feeling of pleasure. It gives you a high. But the problem with addiction comes in when unnatural foreign things hijack our brain's normal dopamine releasing process. With addiction to the wrong thing, there is so much dopamine that is released that the brain's receptors are not able to function in the right way which creates an imbalance. And what happens is the brain's chemistry is thrown off because there's an overproduction of dopamine. And when one is addicted to things that overproduce dopamine, things such as porn, alcohol, certain foods, drugs, overindulgence in video games, when you have an overproduction of dopamine, it does two harmful things. It creates a chemical imbalance that reduces your ability to enjoy natural pleasures. When you have an overproduction of dopamine that comes about from these harmful things, number two, it robs you from feeling truly satisfied. You see, when someone is addicted to something that overproduces dopamine, they will never be satisfied. They will always have an urge to find more and more forms of satisfaction to recreate that feeling. The natural things that are supposed to leave them satisfied through normal dopamine release, well, they just won't satisfy. So the person who is addicted to harmful things will have to keep trying to replicate that high, which ultimately leaves them feeling empty, depressed. So how do you know if you are addicted to something harmful, if you find yourself in a battle of novelty, it's when you have been doing something that gives you a high, but eventually it gets so boring that you have to do more extreme forms of it to get that good feeling. And then you have to keep increasing and increasing that activity until it produces death in you. This is what James was alluding to when he said this, in the first chapter 14, he said, but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And then sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. See, James spoke about how you, f you first have desire and then in acting on it, it leads to sin, and then sin develops, it grows, which eventually leads to death. Really what he's describing is the battle of novelty. For example, someone who is addicted to cocaine, at first, they're fine with just a little bit, just a little hit, but their dopamine release is so thrown off from that overproduction that they find themselves having to keep increasing the amount of drugs to get that novel feeling again until eventually they keep increasing it they keep increasing it to to get that novelty feeling and eventually it leads to death sin fully grown they overdose the same thing can be said for many who are addicted to porn at first a pornography addict they're fine just looking at a picture in a magazine, but eventually a picture in a magazine, that just won't cut it. They then find the need to find more and more hardcore images. And then those images lead to them needing to listen to and watch videos to bring about that euphoric feeling. Eventually, even the videos develop to become more disturbing so that they can get that high. This is how many people get into various forms of deviance and, and sadistic forms of pornography. And all just to give them that novel feeling. And eventually, sitting behind a computer won't cut it. And many men and women can tell you that the only way they were able to satisfy themselves at that point was to go out, visit strip clubs and meet with prostitutes, which can easily lead to death death from disease, violence, death, just as James was talking about. You see, when sin is fully conceived, it leads to death. 
And that's what happens when you indulge in things that overproduce dopamine. You're never satisfied and you find yourself having to do more of it and more of it and more of it to get that high and more of it to get that high until you find yourself depleted and on the road to death. In the meantime, while you're chasing that high, the things that should naturally bring you pleasure don't. And that's why you would find yourself depressed when you're in a lifestyle of sin. That was a clip from a video we did a while back, and we wanted to share that because it does relate to a lot of what we're going to cover in the Repentance movie coming this Friday. And let me just say, God did it. He did it. Yes, you know, a lot of music production went into this, um, a lot of study, research, video production, but we can't take credit for the way this project came together. And you will see when you watch it, God's hand was all over it. He has a message for his people. And one big message here is that there is power in Christ to break chains from any addiction. It's time to seek God with all of our hearts, to abide in him, because Jesus is coming back. Simple as that. And he's preparing us all for it. So this will be a documentary to see with others if you can. I think it would be great for small group discussion. And um, I recommend watching it first with headphones or with some type of good sound system. Just kind of allow yourself to experience, you know, the production of it and then maybe watch it a, a, another time, you know, as you take notes and really dig deep into the, the Bible study aspect of it. Um, but yeah, we want you to appreciate the musical aspects of it as well. God did something very special with that as well. So we thank you for your prayers this Friday. We'll see you 10 a.m. is the plan. Central time. Take care. God bless.